First, you need to install the Arduino IDE software. Go to the Microsoft Store. Search Arduino IDE. Install it. Go to Computer Management. Then go to Device Manager. Then plug the USB into the Arduino. Software folder download link in description. First, go to the X loader. Load the hex file. Choose the Leonardo 32U4. Now press the reset button on the Arduino board. Select the COM number shown in the device manager and upload it here. Check if it was uploaded. Now install the wheel config software. Run as administrator. Then click yes. Then connect the Arduino to the computer. Be sure to turn off the Z-toggle switch. Do not turn on your 12V power supply now. Now turn on the Z-toggle switch. Now turn on 12V power supply. If you connect the wheel the first time apply these settings. If there is a problem with your force feedback, the steering wheel may spin and be damaged. The steering stop limits the maximum turning angle of the steering wheel. It's not completely locking. Once it crosses the limit, the motor rotates the wheel again in the opposite direction. I'm doing 0% now. Now you can see that the steering wheel does not stop at the limit. Now I am increasing again. See that the wheel was returned. If the wheel tries to rotate in the same direction after you cross the limit, the force feedback direction should be changed. Go to the advanced settings. Tick the invert. Then close and restart the wheel config. Now check again. Here you can change your wheel angle. If your wheel is not centered, it can be centered here. This can test your wheel spring force. This can change if your wheel rotates in the opposite direction. You can
can also check wheel in the wheel check software. If nothing happens after selecting the test option, increase the main gain. You can see my pedals are not reaching up. It needs to work like this. So let's fix this. Go to the Windows Game Controller settings. Go to the Properties. Go to the Settings tab. Then click the Calibrate. This moment don't touch your wheel. Now push your pedal to the max. Then release the pedal. If this plus mark does not move even after you push the brake pedal, try pushing other pedals. Then you can choose the right pedal. Push once and click next button. Now push the other pedal to the maximum and release. Now click next. Do the same thing again. Now check if your pedals are reaching maximum. Now go to the wheel config close and restart the wheel config again. So you can see the pedals are reaching maximum. After this calibration, you can see this first pedal starting in the middle. That's normal, but if this pedal is your gas pedal, your gas pedal is not working properly. The best thing is to select the clutch pedal. You can change your pedals from advanced settings. Go to the advanced settings. I suggest you select pedals like this. So my clutch and brake need to be exchange. Go to the advanced settings. The analog input of Y axis and Z axis should be exchanged. Now you can see that the brake pedal will not reach to maximum. So you need to calibrate again. Now check if your pedals are reaching maximum. After calibrating the pedal, maybe your wheel doesn't work like this. Because your wheel was accidentally rotated during the calibration process. So you need to calibrate again. If you have the same problem after this, disconnect the encoder from the Arduino while calibrating. Is wheel work to correctly, this need to show. While using this, you may also get these errors. I will explain how to fix these in a video. After this process, you can play directly these games. Because the Arduino is shown in these games, there is no need to do anything. After key mapping, you can play these games. Anyway, if you need to play like Forza Horizon games, cannot play directly. That's need do some few things. I will explain another video. Thank for the watching this video guys.